What's up guys? Thanks for joining me. My name is Mike and in today's video I'm going to hang kitchen wall units along this back wall. So The first thing you want to do is measure So this is obviously the back of the unit which goes to the wall. These are the brackets that hook on like so. So you want to measure from the bottom of the unit. I would measure to the bottom of the bracket here, which is about 660. Oh, 26 inches, 660 mil. So we know where the height is. And then on the wall, I like to do mine between 18 and 20 inches from the bottom of the wall unit to the top of the U to the worktop. So if I go about 18 inches there. So about 460 mil and then I can measure from that line I've just made there 660 which is up there so I know where that line is there my bracket wants to sit on it like so. So now, I'm, now I've got that line there. I've got a laser set up, which I'll turn on. So that's on that line there. The next thing I want to do, this is the first unit that's going to go up, it's at a wall, so I've put the end panel on already. You want to measure the thickness of the end panel and the unit there, it's about 40 mil, uh, or 36 mil. So I've already made a line on the wall. And then again you want to measure from where that bracket is there to where that one is there. It's about 56 mil. So, about 36 mil, I've got a mark there, and then from that mark, 56 mil to there. So if we join them up to the line there, hold your bracket up where it needs to be. So, I've drawn around 
over there or I need to draw basically. I'll just get your drill. <laughs> The first one's the hardest one to do, I find. Once this one's in position, you can just measure off each unit then. There's a certain way that these go to the wall. Also, if they're that way, you can see there's nothing for the cupboard to hook onto. So they do need to go that way so that it, it hooks looks behind it here So, one seven two brackets are on. You're gonna get your first unit ready. So that's my first unit up. It's not leveled on out of anything like that yet. You can see where I've got my own panel ready. So now you just basically get your take your, your next unit. Which mine's a 500. And then again, I think this of these are normally about 20 mil. But just double check. So if you hold your tape on the edge, and it's about 20 mil. So I want one line at 20 mil and one at 460.
So from the edge of this unit here, it's marked 20 millimeters. And then 460. So that's where my next bracket is, and that's where the other one is. So I'll get this hung up. I'll probably do the, do do the other two. And then I'll show you how to level it out. Right then guys, <coughs> I've um, I've got these all hung now. But these first three are all in level screwed up. So there's just just this one here to do. I'll try and bring him in best I can. See. So <coughs> I've got <coughs> excuse me. I've got my level on the top. I'll slide it along. We know these are the level. That doesn't need much actually, that one. So basically with a, with a Phillips screwdriver. This screw here, if you tighten it up, that pulls the unit towards the wall. And there's a little screw underneath here. If you screw that one in, which I'm about to do now. So this one is this one here. I took the shelf out. So yeah, if you screw that one in oh. That lifts and lowers the um, the height of the unit. So basically, we want it touching at the top, touching at the bottom, and just make sure it's square across the top. So I'll do that now. So that's level there. So it's just this bit here that we want. Then, once you're happy, you've adjusted it to level, just with a clamp, put one clamp at the top, one clamp at the bottom, like so. <coughs> and you want to put a couple of screws in them together. So when I'm screwing these together, obviously you don't really want to see the screws. So here, where these two holes are, that's where the that's where the hinge goes for the door. So basically, you want to screw them in to there. But as this door here, which way am I going to open? I need to decide which way I want this door to open. Otherwise, I'll have to screw in from this side. So there's two doors there. Yeah. So I'm probably going to have the. Oh. I'm probably going to have the door on this side.
So I'm gonna screw just through there. So right with them two holes right there. You're gonna put your screw right in the middle. Cause then once that goes on, like so, it'll, it'll hide them. I'll, show, I'll screw this in and then I'll, I'll screw that bit on where you can see what I'm doing. So you've got one there, and one at the top also. And you can just release your clamps. So with that on, it covers that screw hole. So quite straightforward. The other thing we want to do now, also because this is the end of the unit, we want to put the side panel, the end panel on, which I've lost. There it is. So basically, with the side panel, push it right to the wall, and the, the top of it wants to be flush with the top of the unit, and the bottom, this bit will overhang because I've got a bit of pelmet to go across there. So once you're happy, you've got that way you want it. Again with your clamps. Okay, put a clamp on. And then again, this is just the same as the joining the two together. Center them two holes. On this one, I'm also going to put a couple, and I'm just a little bit further in, but I'm going to do them where the shelf goes. So again, I just do one behind that bracket there. To be honest, I think one will probably do that. Take your clamps off. hidden that screw there and then obviously once again when the doors go on that'll hide that there you can see up there we're nice and level all the way across so we've got an end panel over there we've got the end panel there And that's about it. They're quite straightforward to do. The hardest bit is just getting the measurements between each one. But once you've done the first one, like I said earlier, the other ones are quite straightforward. So next, we want to do the doors. 
So I'll go get the doors, I'll unpack them all, and then I'll show you putting them on. Right, cupboard doors. So, I've just put the first bar on. I've left this one to show you how to do it. I thought it's pointless me filming it them all. But, I don't know if you could, this camera picks it up. This one's damaged. And this one here is damaged. So that was a bit annoying. I mean, I've had the kitchen quite a while now, sat here. Hopefully, they'll replace these two doors if I take them back. Howdens are normally pretty good. But you never know. So if not, I might have to buy two new doors. Which is very annoying. But, anyway. Right, so. Hinges on your door. So, obviously this is where the hinge goes. I don't, it, there's a little dowel mark there. And one there. When you put your hinge in the door, they line up with the holes in the hinge. So with the screws provided, and you have these small ones here, not very big. Basically, just get a mini drill, put the tip of the screw into the little dowel mark, just screw in gently. Like so. <coughs> and you simply repeat for the other side. So once we've done that, it's obviously time to fit the So now we need to fit the latches onto the actual cupboard. Which of these here? Most of them already come with these two screws in. Like I mentioned earlier, where them two holes are, there and there, that's where they screw in. It depends what type you get with these, but most of the time, where this little slot is here, that goes towards the door, and this screw goes into the cupboard. But, like I said, it does depend what, what, Manufacturer you use and stuff like that. And like I said, our screw hole will get covered up by these. So just simply hold that in place. You can use a screwdriver if you're not very confident with the drill, but I think if you come this far, you'll be fine with the drill. And get up the top. So now, it's always time to hang the door. So the, the screw up here is what actually holds the door on. It goes over this part here. There is a little lug here, it's quite hard to see. 
and that locks into there. So basically with the hinges open like that, you hold it on, push it in, and then just simply give this, just tighten that up there. Really easy to do. These obviously now need leveling off because all the doors are just all over the place. I'll show you on this one. So basically, on the hinge there's this screw here. This one there, look. So you take a screwdriver. If you wind it, if you turn it in, it brings the door out. Does that make sense? So I've done that now, so that'll probably hit there. And you just adjust your doors on here. So in, I'll turn it towards you, and it takes the door back in. You, but just, you basically just want to have all the gaps the same, have them the same. I mean, it look, look, everything that looks straight then. And then after that's done, it'll be a case of fitting the handles. And again, with these holding doors, they come with a little mark there. A little mark there, and basically you drill them, and that's where your handle's going to go. But I think I'll probably leave this video there for now. I don't want. I think my videos are getting a bit longer sometimes. So, move that, shut that door, you can see. So yeah, they all line up nicely. Well, I've got an 800 base unit there. There's an 800 wall unit above it. 500's at the end. That one's just a six at the end there. But yeah, I think kitchen's coming together quite nice now. I've just got to find some tiles or something for the underneath and along the top of the worktop. And then I'll probably tile the floor. Probably tile the floor here. Maybe take it into there. I haven't, I haven't decided yet, but. Yeah, we'll leave that video there for now. So, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Join me for the next one. Thank you.